name's Susie, and I did my undergrad in mechanical engineering at Michigan State University, and now I'm in my last year of my PhD here in the mechanical science and engineering department of University of Illinois. I applied to a number of schools, and what really uh, I liked about Illinois is that they were, I was very interested in combustion, and Illinois has more than just engines. We do a lot of different combustion as well as engines, so I like the research going on, and I like the professors I had talked to. They were friendly, and they were doing interesting things. People have different expertise. I'm very good at the gas chromatograph. Someone else is very good with their laser. And so when you need to use different techniques, you're able to go to someone's lab. They're always willing to help, help you set up and troubleshoot and get through what you need to get through. My research involves small-scale catalytic combustion. The purpose of this is that right now, batteries for a lot of small-scale devices, like cell phones, your battery makes up most of the size and weight of the phone. Our research aim is to provide some building blocks for a future design of smaller power sources that aren't batteries. In our experiments, we're burning hydrocarbons. Right now, we mainly focus on methane because it's the simplest hydrocarbon. It's very small and very it's more simple to model than the bigger ones. Even if we can only get a 20% conversion from the energy in the methane, out into electricity or something else useful, it would still be much greater than what we could get out of a, a modern battery. My lab group meets with our advisor every Monday. You discuss what you've done the week before and you set goals for the next week that you'd like to accomplish in the lab or whatever you're working on. But he's also has a very open door policy. So if you need, if you have questions or you need to meet with him or you need his advice on something, you can usually just knock on his door and what I really like about him is that whenever I get frustrated in the lab and things aren't working or I don't know what to do next and I'm kind of worried about where my research is going, when I go talk to him, I kind of get re-inspired and he's very good at motivating you and making, making you remember how much you like what you're doing and giving you some, some motivation to go back into the lab. <laughs> I played soccer in high school. In undergrad, I didn't play much at all, but here there's, there's so many different intramural teams. There's the International Football Club, which just meets for pickup games in the evenings, and there's many fields that they can pick from to play on. A fun part with the International Football Club is during the European Cup and the World Cup, you get to sit around with people from all different countries and watch their countries play soccer, as well as your country, and it makes it a lot more interesting. <laughs>